As people flock to grocery stores, meat sales have risen 91 percent. However, live cattle prices have fallen 16 percent since February. Data shows that in the week of March 22nd alone, in-store beef sales soared by $180 million year over year. But as Morgan Benth reports, that does not help ranchers. Ranchers feel the prices of beef are completely out of their hands right now. It's such a big extreme right now. I mean, the grocery store prices to what we're selling beef for, I mean, is, is a pretty large separation right now. Four beef packing companies dominate much of the market, but putting some control back in the hands of ranchers has bipartisan support. I don't know why we would, we would help the companies at that level when we could be helping the, the farmer and the rancher more directly. Senator John Hoven agrees, adding, our ranchers produce the highest quality beef in the world and they deserve a fair price for their product. Bull ranchers may be okay for now, but the unknown in the coming season is worrisome. Luckily for now, I mean, I'm, I'm done marking my calves. It's going to be more of a worrisome how long-term impact this is going to be. Decrease in restaurant visits also has some producers quite confused in projecting where supply and demand will head.